right, so we're down here in the Stratica salt mine underneath Kansas, 650 feet underneath Kansas. Checking out some of the electrical down here, but Mike Rowe was down here before on the TV show Dirty Jobs, which is pretty cool. Uh, but as you can see, you've got some lights down here, and I'm assuming all this is fed from the elevator shaft through some rigid pipe. Um, that's my guess. But anyways, the electrical looks pretty nice down here. Someone did a good job. Uh, everything was shot with some shots. Um, these ones look like they're covered so they don't rust or something, but they do look like there's some healthy shots. Um, or the power, power or powder actuated. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff looks nice and straight going down here. You got your, well, these kind of go into a weird angle, but stuff is nice in a straight row right there. Got your fire alarm intersecting right there. Got your MC, and everyone knows that MC is pretty hard to keep straight, so they did a good, good job on that. Got Trevor over here, Arctic Vet, check him out on YouTube. Um, but yeah, just checking this place out, it's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that's about it. They got some uh, more straps over here with the a row of MC going down. Just like a big one and a half inch, inch and a quarter strap, a bunch of MC. So just checking it out, they got some old salt carts over here, tractors, cars, slow museum, you know, got some videos playing. This is a old uh, drilling machine right there. Um, there's a little train ride we're gonna go on here in a shortly. Um, that's some other type of machine over there for capturing the salt. This is just like salt walls. Everything is salt. Salt ceiling, floors, all that stuff. But they have some cool little lights over here. Here. Typical little old-fashioned style lights, which is cool. They got some, they got some track lights over here. Some more track lights over there. Nothing too crazy. Um, got some power going down that row over there that we came in on. They got some four or five inch rigid um, on some trapezes. But, you know, just checking it out, it's pretty cool. So maybe I'll add to this, maybe I won't. But anyways, give you guys a little update out here in Kansas. Like I said, doing some cool things. I don't know where I'm going, but yeah. Hopefully this thing don't collapse, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I don't see any pipe or anything like that, really. Just lots of MC, Stratica. Got some videos going over there about the drilling and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. So here's actually some, some old battery plugs or power ends as you if you want to read that anyways here is the mail end right here to plug in right there some old old stuff got some old cords over here and another thing over here shuttle car plugs dc here's some here's a cut right there of the inside of the wire which is cool got your insulation your copper I'm not sure what the backside really looks like, but pretty cool little display right there. All right, so here's another thing right here, the rectifier box. Um, I'm assuming it's this guy right here, but it says it brought up to 2,300 volts underground, as you can see right here, um, where the transformer lowered it down to 480. Oops, I can't read that three phase. Um, so Trevor was saying that there was like a 6,600 volt something, but as you can see here, 2,300 volts underground through the cable. I'm not sure if it means this cable specifically, because that looks pretty small. You got like this old power box right here. You got that guy right there. You got these wires up here on the ceiling. So I don't know if it means these ones specifically, or if this is just like a demo, or if this is part of a 
older highway system of electrical wires to transfer the different voltages. I mean, this is clearly capable of 480s, but got some old, old stuff over here. Janky, kinda, so. Yeah, a little cool demonstration right here, what it used to be like. But yeah, this is from like, between like 1929, 1954, or something like that. I mean, they still actively use this mine. Um, still today, people mine salt here. Which begs the question, where are the supports so the ceiling doesn't collapse? Great question, I'm not sure, but anyways, very interesting stuff. Yeah. So it looks like we got some old school bunny suits over here. Got the, the old school boots, face, body. Back in the day, this is what I would be wearing to the OR nurse rooms. Finally found some EMT. Looks like some two inch. I think some two inch. <clears throat> Looks like they got some Sammies. Right up there, they're resting out. But yeah, on this MC, they did a nice job. It's like turning some 90s, like, man, the craftsmanship. Top notch. All right, Here so, we go. All right, so we're making, oh. I'm gonna blow it. So we're doing the train ride, and uh, we're just sitting on these, hold on. All right, so we're sitting on these cars. Two per, two per, so it's me and Trevor. Let's go. There's Jessica. And um, I don't think this is how they actually rode back in the day. No, I don't think so either. But uh, not this fancy. Here we go. Go real quiet. <laughs> All right, so here's the tr the trunk line kind of that I was telling you about with the trapezes. So you got your rigid pipes right here, either four or five inch, and looks like inch and a half or two inch. Got some PVC up there. I don't know if that was the PVC, but there's some PVC around here. We also, oh, I mean, there's PVC right there. Um, we got a little bit of strut, or that's just the track, not track rack, or whatever you want to call it. So we got some track right there for the heads over there. So this is kind of where it comes down the shaft tunnel over there. And it goes all the way down there. So neat stuff. Fire alarm looks good. Nice and straight. That's, uh, I think that's pretty much it. We're about to head out. It was fun though. So here's some fire alarm we got right here. Going up, some pipe, ceiling, some MC it looks like, some pipe over here, the ceiling. <laughs> 